We have a big prospect update to take a look at today with Gabe Perot, the number two prospect in the Rangers system, in my opinion. He's right up there, I would say, like, right behind Austin. They're pretty close, but I'd give the slight edge right now, I'd probably say, to Austin. But he's a great prospect. And also, we'll give an update on his teammate as well, Drew Fortescue, who's also taken in this year's draft in the third round. Gabe was a first rounder. Both of them did come out of the um, you know, U.S. National Development Program as well. So that was kind of cool there. They were teammates there, and they both committed to Boston College, where they both played so far this year. And they're, they're doing pretty good as, as a team and as individuals as well. So that is a nice thing to see. But starting off here and taking a look at the team standings, Boston College, they're in the Hockey East Conference in the NCAA, and they're doing pretty good so far in conference play. They have four games played, eight points, two wins, one loss, one tie. Not a bad record. Sitting tied for fourth, like I said, with three other teams, UConn, Merrimack, and Vermont, who all have six games played, eight points. So they have the same amount of points, just those three teams all have two more games played. And the top team in Hockey East has a New York Rangers prospect on their team as well, though, and I will give an update on him in a later video, Yaroslav Chemler. Pretty solid uh, Czech Republic prospect, or Czechy prospect, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're off to a pretty good start, though, already Providence, the top team in Hockey East. Six games played, 14 points. Good start for them and good for Yaroslav and your Rangers prospect on their team as well. But taking a look at the overall record for Boston College, including non-conference play, they have 10 games played, 7 wins, 2 losses, 1 tie, 36 goals for and 23 against. I can tell you, out of those 36 goals, quite a few of those Gabe Perot had an impact on. Taking a look at Gabe Perot's numbers here now, I mean, over the last 5 games, he has really done a phenomenal job but his overall numbers this year though are pretty good as well 10 games played he's got two goals 13 assists 15 points and is a plus seven so he's off to a really great start this year offensive the numbers have been phenomenal but as of late over the last five games played he has 10 points one goal and nine assists so the goal scoring hasn't quite been there but over the last ten, five games especially, I mean, five games played, one goal, nine assists, 10 points, plus five over the last five games is a great number to be at. This is a guy with a ton of talent. The offensive just production he can bring is amazing. His playmaking skills is at another level. I mean, there's not too many guys who as prospects have the kind of vision and playmaking ability like he does. I mean, he is a phenomenal prospect. The offensive talent is amazing. If his overall game can get better, which it seems like it can, then he will be an absolutely stellar player one day. I mean, he has truly, I would say, top line potential, at least top six. I mean, this is a very talented player, and his playmaking skills and overall just offensive ability, his you know, stick handling, passing, shooting, everything is great. I mean, obviously, he's not some dynamic sniper, for example, but he has an all right shot, a good enough shot. He's got great hockey IQ. That is the one thing that seems to everyone notices about his game is the fact that his hockey IQ is through the roof, and that is why he's such a talented player, even though he might not be the biggest or you know fastest skater, for example. Uh, taking a look here, though, at his teammate, Drew Fortescue, not off to as good of a start offensively, but he's more known as a defensive kind of guy, but kind of a two-way D-man, but more of a defensive player, kind of like Braden Schneider, who's almost kind of a two-way guy, but definitely more defensive than offensive. He has 10 games played here, one goal, got that goal uh, near the start of the year. I think it was the first or second game as well, and hasn't had a point since, but still plus four. He's off to a decent start. 10 games played, one point for him is not too big of a deal. Then taking a look, though, at the overall kind of hockey east, Overall, in-conference play and out-of-conference play standings for point-wise for players. So the top guy in the Hockey East with nine games played, 18 points, is Macklin Celebrini. He leads Hockey East scoring-wise. with He's from Boston University as well, so he's kind of their rivals. He's a Canadian, and he's projected to go first overall in this year's draft, so he's off to a great start. And you also have a number two place, though, Gabe Perot from Boston College. Obviously, 10 games played, 15 points. He's off to a phenomenal start. So that's a good thing to see that Gabe Perot is in second in scoring-wise in the Hockey East. And right behind him is linemate and teammate and former teammate with the National Development Program as well, Will Smith, who was taken pretty early in the first round in this year's draft by the San Jose Sharks. So he's right behind him. 10 games played at five goals, nine assists, 14 points. So one less point, same amount of games played. And these are in-conference play and out-of-conference play. Just overall scoring out of every single Hockey East player. Gabe Perot is number two. And then, you know, overall scoring in the entire, you know, NCAA kind of thing right now, Gabe Perot is tied for eighth with a bunch of other players uh, with 15 points. So that's pretty good overall. And, and a lot of these guys he's tied with as well. I mean, actually every single one of them 
has at least 11 games played, two of 11, and then three of them have 12. So a lot of these guys do have more games played than him, and he's got as many points as them. So that is a great sign to see. I mean, he has a phenomenal points per game, and just overall, really just off to a great start this year, and it's exactly what you want to see out of a young guy. And I mean, when you have a young talent like this, you want to see him take that step when he's playing you know, at the college level, because it is a step up from what he was playing. I mean, he obviously was playing some college teams and stuff with a development program, but it's a bigger step up. And now that he's a freshman on the actual university team, he's off to a great start and truly does look like a phenomenal player. Anyways, though, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for daily New York Rangers content. I post every single day. And also, don't forget to comment down below your guys' thoughts on Drew Fortescue and arguably the number two, or you could say the best prospect in the Rangers system, Gabe Perot.